What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Come on, people. Hold on a minute. Hey. I'm back. I want to talk again about how how unhealthy and unholy relationships are going to hurt people. Not you, maybe, but down the road is going to hurt you and yours. Uh, the LGBT community is crazy, man. This is crazy. Because now what they're doing is the LGBT community is smarting up because they're using the same, the same tactics that black leaders used to use back in the day. Like, so not all black leaders. Some black leaders used that the sympathy route and the way how they got that sympathy, the, L, the LGBT, whatever, whatever the letters are, you know, I know the first one, the LGBT, that's all I'm gonna say. I, I don't know the rest, because there's like 50 million letters after that. But uh, they're using what they're, what black, some black leaders are using the same slogans, the same, the same DNC talking points and the same, uh, the same rhetoric and the same mudslinging that they, what some black leaders use it for decades. And now they're labeling everybody who has, who's, who doesn't agree with homosexuality, they're labeling, they're labeling them homophobic. Now, let me, let me preface this video because I know you guys are gonna do it, you guys have done it. First of all, I'm not homophobic. There are some people who have to do it because that's how the religion is. There's some people who do it because they don't feel it's how it's right. There's some people who disagree with that. On, on maybe, on, on, like I said, the least common denominator that everybody can agree on is population control. There are people who have convictions and who have principles and who have code of conduct, and mores, and all that. And they stick by them. And I admire people that do that. Just because it's not your lifestyle and you won't get shitty and salty about it. Excuse my French. But me personally, I don't necessarily agree with it, but I look at it this way. I may not agree with what you're like, but I can't, not like I can't, I hate you for it. Go ahead. I don't like hockey too well, but you know, every once in a while I'll click on the channel and watch it. I'm not the one to watch that, but you know what I mean. I'm trying to correlate here. But uh, I mean, what, like, well, I, got to, like I, I think I talked about this before. One of my Facebook groups, they asked why our blacks don't align themselves with the homosexuality community. And it was, uh, and it was, it was, it was a, 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 a homosexual person, and, uh, and I was, and like people were going in, and I responded with the fact that when the homosexuals asked black leaders for support, black leaders went to us, the people, for you know, hey, and they gave the old heartstrings, you know, we need to support them. They used the same talking points they always use to, to, to facilitate. Uh, lifestyle that goes against our culture to ingrain it in our culture. They'll say, well, you know, we've been slaves, we've been mistreated, we've been this, we've been that. And, and, and once again, simple-minded blacks, who, the heartstrings got touched, we said, a lot of them, uh, we said, okay. But uh, black people still support it, even though even though most black people were certainly religious, this goes against their Baptist and Muslim beliefs. Most blacks are Baptist and Muslim sites so I use. I know there's a lot of Hebrew Israelites, so it's, I know, he and Hebrew Israelites, I'll slow throw them in there too. Even though they, even though that they, this goes against all the religions, they still felt compassion and sympathy and still said let the homosexuals have their little shebang whatever and after that you know what happened they supported they got their rights but you know when it came time for black people to get their uh, civil rights back and uh firm action and all this that's been happening that's going on right now the gay folks were like all right see you and they left. They left you guys holding a bag. And like, 
me personally, I didn't hop on that bandwagon. I wasn't, like, uh, depending on this video, I'm putting this video up by before it's vote, but in my state of Ohio, we're having a, it's gonna, it's gonna be fucking, it's gonna be non, it's gonna be irrelevant anyway because the federal government's gonna push it on you, but uh, we're having a vote about the f definition of marriage. But as you can see, these states, the federal government has slammed down, you gotta respect other states' marriages and all this, that, and the fifth. But, uh, after I start busting people's behind, I said, and, I, and this, that's the, and like I tell them, I said, even if I, I mean, I was a pure hater, like if I don't want you to live or die, there's there's some extremists out there, and I'm not one of them. Uh, nobody should be killed for their, their, you know, I mean, unless you prey on the elderly, the sick, and the kids, and the weak, then yeah, you, you might have to go off the face of the earth, but. If you're, a, if you're a man who likes another man, I don't believe you should die. So, let's get that straight. But I, 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 I base my comments off of recent history about how you helped them, they didn't help you. They, they, they still haven't helped you, and you're not asking for this help. And see, that's what, they, and that's what black folks do. And that's why the Democrats are so successful. Because what the Democrats do, the Democrats just come in the neighborhood when it's voting time. They they throw you a few extra welfare bucks. They give you another Obama phone, by 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 freak tone wireless or whatever you know. Get your little cheapy 100 buck phone and give you like they give you like your little 400 free minutes. And then what happens? You vote for them. And I'm like, you sold, you sold, and I'm like, a lot of you sold us out for a fucking free cell phone. Do you realize this? When you had the ear, when you had their ears, you you went down the road of a free fucking phone, and then you get mad because nobody does nothing for you. It's like it's it's like a little kid who wants something for the birthday, and they get it. They see another little kid with something better, and they want to cry and whine, say he wanted that. But see, I'm starting to go off. I'm starting to slide off top because, like, a, uh, more. I'm just. I'm more upset about black people doing this stupid bullshit. But I'm gonna slide off topic. So let me get back on track. The homosexuals what they'll do is like, and I said this, and I said the lowest, lowest common denominator of why it's right and wrong, why it's wrong to me was, is population control. I said outside of biblical, outside of social, like mores and all, outside of all that, I said the lowest common denominator is population control. And that's when the haters arrived. Like I said, I wasn't calling them out of their name. I wasn't using derogatory names. I was telling them at the lowest, at the lowest common denominator, I said, I said, if you hypothetically had everybody a gay person, you, the, the planet would die off. I said, that's population control. Well, that wouldn't take, that, what do you mean that wouldn't take? Shouldn't your reply would have been, well, yeah, but we got to, you know, there's, hopefully it'll be some. No, they're like, it they wouldn't take. It's population control at the lowest. Like, this is what I'm talking about. The lowest form, like, throw your religious reasons, throw your social, throw what you think about it. Look at it at the fact. At the lowest number one common denominator, if you hypothetically had number of homosexuals you cannot reproduce, you'd be living in test tubes. And sooner or later, that would die off. Because it'd be some super bug that'd kill all that. But I got labeled as the homophobic in the group. I got labeled as all the, all the other problems that exist in black America. And why, you know why I worry about this problem in black America? Because you're gonna have to worry about this problem in black America. You wanna know why? And I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a little info. This problem is coming because why your black churches have let you the fuck down. You got all these little TJ Jakes and the rest of all these little chicken dancers that should be denying this stuff. They're co-signing this bullshit. They're taking certain film producers' money in the church and then they're all happy and looking in the past. You're in a church and you don't say nothing about it. You wanna why? Because we all know someone who's gay. You wanna why? Oh, well, so-and-so, that's his friend. Oh, they're all right. Now, what does your Bible say? What does your Quran say? What does your Torah say? And then for the people who wanna come at me like, well, what, don't religion this and that, and like the people that don't agree with religion, I'm not talking to you. 
if, if you want to wear a fucking spaghetti strainer on your head and loom a foil so the government doesn't send you signals, knock it out the park and do it. I'm talking to people that are religious. They're letting your churches and your mosques and your, and your temples have let this shit slide. The homosexual community came to you guys. This is this is well known. This what I'm saying here isn't fucking Area 51 classified info. They came to you guys and you guys co-signed it and you threw it off on the people and the people fell for it. This is, here's how here's, here's how I'm gonna talk. This is in my own family. Me and my own mother. No, it ain't. We're not knockout, drag out, punch over this, but like, she came to and I'm like, ma, you know, that's her, she, 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 my mother's more, that's, my mother likes everybody, you know, but see, I'm more of the militant of the family, and I know what I, I know, I'm, I know my comments do me or propel me, so I'm willing to live or die with that, but I'm just saying, you my mother, me and her have a disagreement about this. I don't ask for dad because I don't know what he'll say about this one. He can say anything from A to Z, and I'm like, let's, let's, let's not ask him right now. But back to what, what I'm saying is, whenever, whenever you disagree with the homosexuals, like back in the day, the black leaders used to always say this. Oh, well, that's, you're a racist because you don't believe. Now, you could say a stat where amongst the black population, 10% uh, of them are in prison. Well, you're racist. How is that racist?